Please give her your undivided attention, and um, she will kind of be guiding class today. So, thank you. Thank you. Say that again, sorry. I have to share the screen on Zoom as well. Yes, yes. And I'll show if you want um want to get something pulled up about uh you want to get like something pulled up about like it being on screen, you can just hit that button and it'll turn it off. to know the country that you will stay. You have to know the language, you have to know religion and politics, and as well as media practice, rights and rules. For language, if uh, you guys have English, which an advantage. Uh, but if you want to move to Asian countries, you may learn Chinese or different languages in different countries. Like me, when I'm based in Singapore and Malaysia, I have to learn Chinese and Malaysia Bahasa and about religion or politics. I know in the US, uh, people believe in God, stuff like that. Or in Malaysia, the majority of the population is Muslim. So you have to learn about this and to get familiar with kind of a culture. And about politics, I believe that politics is different in different countries. Uh, if we stay in the US, we have to know that the where when is the next election and the media practice in the u.s you guys have amendment amendment one to protect journalists but in vietnam we don't have that kind of that you have to know rights and rules because everything comes to law is very complicated i have an example here you have to know the language because uh, Sorry. It's about what I covered the Malaysian general election in 2018 and I have to interview the residents, the locals there, how they think when they change their ruling party after 60 years. 
So I had to interlude them in Chinese and Malaysia Bahasa. I set my tripod and I just stand in front of the camera. I do it all myself. You know, Martin Mohammed, uh, he's the Prime Minister of Malaysia and he come back uh, the politics at the age of 90. So they changed their part, ruling party after 60 years. So this is a big issue. She's answered in Malaysia. Luckily, he's an, oh, she answered in English. And in Chinese. So that kind of thing that when I say you have to learn just a little bit language or get used to it. And the third one, you have to establish your local connections. Our guest speaker last week said that our job is just about the relationship and connections. Um, in different country or different state, you have to get to know residents who are locals, who can share with you the, their light lights or some hidden gems or stuff very special in their own country or even different state. You have to know someone in journalism world, your colleagues in different newspapers, but in local newspapers. I have a story. <clears throat> when I'm in Malaysia, um, I was assigned to do a car uh, reportage on, nation, on the tax of car in Malaysia. And I don't have any connections or don't have any connection of experts on car in Malaysia to talk about that topic. So I think that I will ask some local journalists in Malaysia, but I don't have any connections to so I do, I try to search a car piece news on news on local newspaper and they have the email of the journalist cover that part and I just email them. I say that okay, I'm the Vietnamese journalist in Malaysia and I want to cover that topic. Do you have any um, expert or any connections that can help me with that topic? And it turns out that uh, two of my uh, rich connections answer me and give me two names of the expert in car and I still have the connections now. When I, when I come back to Vietnam and I cover um, a car in Vietnam but I need some ID or I need some comments from foreign experts, I can ask them also. So, And of course you have to have the connections with expert on your field. And the second part of my presentation is in practices. So I talk a lot, but let's see how we can deal with when we're actually in the country. So first, you have to identify your topics that you want to follow. That's your thing. It's how to relevance for to your country's audience. You're in different state. You're in different country. So what makes your topic appeal to your audience, even your newspaper audience? And the second is is new show, new worthiness in general. Is it breaking news or is it unique? For example, if when I cover the uh, general elections in Malaysia, it's breaking news. They changed their ruling party for 60 years and it's uh, kind of relevant to Vietnam since uh, Malaysia and Vietnam is in the same region. Here are some of my examples, but I don't think I can show it now because the connections and because it's in Vietnamese. The first one that I call Ramadan mar market, the street market. You know Ramadan, right? The Muslim month. They, they will fasting all month, all day, and they just eat after sunset. So I cover this, I cover this kind of um, market. They will gather at the square and they have a uh, dinner together. They call it the uh, just a small okay. So you 
you guys hear the sound at the beginning right? So I remember that last week, I already said that you have to keep the natural sound. That sound is a signal that the, the, this is the sunset and everyone can start eating together. So just keep the natural sound. And the second example is um, I cover the experience at Jewel at uh, Changi Airport. It's a uh, world's largest fall in Doha. And it's at the airport in Singapore. So it's kind of unique and relevant to Vietnam within the same region, stuff like that. So you guys can think of the topic that you want to cover in different state or different country. It will be the last activity that I give you guys. And the third is, you, you know uh, the Kim Jong-nam murder case, the brother of Kim Jong-un in North Korea. So there's two suspects in Malaysia, one Indonesian and one Vietnamese. So I also cover that piece when the trial happens in Malaysia. So yeah. The, the factors here is, this is a Vietnamese suspect. This is worth attention about Kim Jong-nam murder. So yeah, that's kind of topic. And I also covered the Trump Film Summit in Singapore and Hanoi. And in one significant event, with, which like four days or three days, you have to think what topic you want to cover, which is stand out from the crowd. There's, you cannot imagine that there's a lot of newspapers come into one place from the US, from the UK, from uh, Japan, from Korea. It's so tough. Okay, I will show you guys when I'm in Hanoi. This is how the media actually work. That you, um, this is a just um, how to say the initial car like preparation of North Korea delegations come to Hanoi, and everyone wants to know that what inside that car, who's the personnel of um, Kim Jong Un, and everyone just rough like that. They don't care about security. They don't care about anything, I they, they just need their footage and picture. That's their assignment. So in that kind of thing, you have to think that there's a lot of journalists, there's a lot of news agencies, and what make your work is different. If, uh, even just different from your news age, from the news agency in Vietnam, like me. So I think that I will interview some expert in Singapore because I'm studying Singapore before and I have some connections there. I will reach them to talk about what they think when the event is hosted by Singapore. And I also interview some related party like South Korean in Singapore. And I also interview journalists, uh, Singapore-based journalists, what they think after years that they cover Singapore, what they think that um, the Trump Peng Summit happened in Singapore. And I also covered like summit style menu in one day. There's a lot of business follow the, uh, the summit theme, and I just put them into one video, like come by and make it like, what you eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stuff like that, you have to do it as a story because we tell a story, not just a piece of information. And the second thing is you have to think which platform that you use. 
Wait, do you just text new audios, new videos, or you use multiple platforms? And you have to use your time sufficiently. Uh, when I, I when I do a Singapore base and Malaysia base, and I come back to Vietnam, and I have uh, many chances to come back there to cover some significant events. And you have one trip for an event, but you can do multiple topics. And you can interview experts for more than one topic. So when I in Malaysia, I interview the car expert on the, the car tax in Malaysia because they they have the car tax at zero percent after the elections. That's the promise of the party. And I cover that, but I also ask some questions about uh, how they think on the automobile market in Vietnam. Because after that, Vietnam have the first national car brand launch after that. So I, I just add them and prepare for my topic later. And this uh, January 2020, I cover Singapore model show. And it's not just the event I cover. I also ask them about the Vietnam Grand Prix. This, this year is supposed to be our first year to host the Vietnam Grand Prix, but it's canceled due to COVID-19. But it's a very huge event. And this is the first time that Vietnam hosted. It's a, it's a trip race. It's very unique, but it's canceled. But yeah, I, so I come to Singapore. Singapore has Singapore Grand Prix, which is street race, nine race, very unique in the world. So I asked them what they think about Vietnam Grand Prix will happen. And I also interviewed the CARS regional CEO. I uh, interviewed the, the director of official Vietnam Daily Distributor in Singapore. So like you go to Singapore, you go to different country to cover just one event. But do you have any topic that you want to cover in that country? More than that, just one event. Just just think about it. Use your time sufficiently. And yeah, I, and for the Malaysian part, it's for I asked them about the car tax. I asked them about the bin fast lunging, and also ask them to connect me with other experts that how you uh, strengthen or improve your connections. So this just some of my takeaway. Uh, I think that you should should general shots uh, like when you stay in one country, you just the general shot that means that just 